All right, all that's set and done. Just pop over to the live screen, pause Spotify, if my computer will actually let me do things. All right, and we get to continue. Ellen Wake. I came to Bright Falls with my wife, Alice. Thank you for coming here with me. I thought maybe you could lay here. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Now, she's missing. Alice? behind the wheel of a crashed car. I'm missing a week. I was attacked by shadowy men straight from a nightmare. The sheriff took me to the lake Alice and I had stayed at. But the cabin had disappeared. Worst weather I've ever seen. You should put some oh, Jesus. On. It'll warm you up. Is that snow or is that fucking Okay, it's it's snow. Uh sure, I'll switch on the coffee maker. Coffee's on. It's a pretty fancy coffee pot. I'll need it if I'm gonna finish this by tomorrow. What is she working on? TV? Sound system. Wait, is there a record player? Or do they just have a sound system. Okay, they just have a sound system. Hmm. Uh, she's in that room. Search around every other room. The fall of Casey. The things that I want. Alex Casey. What I can't forget and return to sender. Oh, hey, manuscript page. Collectible. The this was stuff. a late goodbye. Thirteen years after I'd gotten my revenge, it had finally caught up with me. It had been a long time to bear the pain. My blood painted the snow red. The gruesome, slushy, dissolved all the scattered painkillers that leisurely dripped down to sewer mingling with the bile of the city, becoming one with it. I can see them now, my wife and my baby. Honey, I'm home. Oh, shit. Where it's did I get this one from? The fall and the sudden stop at the end. I'd lain here in the snow while the lurid chain of scenes that had led me here kept playing in my head. A rerun of my own private snuff movie. So I'm assuming that's supposed to be excerpts from Is the Sudden Stop and Yeah, okay, it is an Alex Casey book. So I guess Alex Casey is supposed to be a hard boiled detective type. Almost kinda sounds a bit like uh Max Payne, if you ask me. day of a blizzard and you managed to go out somewhere to get stuff what type of oh right they are driving like a freaking suv compact type nonsense still three days of a fucking blizzard and you managed to get out there you cannot use the shower i'm disappointed all right uh I don't think there's anything else in here. Check the kitchen. No coffees, no thermos. I guess just go into this room and pro oh, well, there's the thermos. Oh, hey, I just finished those cover mock-ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. Oh, uh, I'm kidding. 
I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. Uh, I, I On occasion, Whoops. I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. Oh, hey, another QR code. Uh, let me try and get this to the best of my ability here real quick, so I can post it up in the Discord then. I assume it's going to link to another one of those videos. Yep. Copy that, post it up in the Discord after this part. These look really good. Why? Oh shit. Alan! Alan! Please check the fuse box! I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Please hurry! Honey, it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Okay. Hi. You okay? I'm sorry. I just. It just really spooked me. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. No, it's stupid, but it's just, especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. Tell me a story, Ryder. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it hey, is. placebo oh, effect man. really <laughs> works. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you, even if you are a liar. Thanks oh. for this. Excuse me as I, like, pop every single dish on my finger. Uh, on my hand. But hmm. how do you feel, Mr. Wake? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wake, how are you feeling? I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Mm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. I wonder if the camera shaking is supposed to be intentional or a bug of the remaster. Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets oh, any geez. worse or you experience any other symptoms... That you should, should not have been that loud. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Doc Nelson was the image of a small town doctor. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. All right, so. Wait, was this man out fishing before he came here? I'm sorry you had to cut your morning fishing short for this. Here you are. Oh, she's a beauty, ain't she? Yeah. Not the biggest I ever caught, if you can believe that coming from an old fisherman like me. But she's right up there. Now, she's a largemouth bass. Yeah, I'll say. What you're after, if you prefer a lure. Now, if you want either trout or salmon, on the other hand, then it's fly fishing for you. Mm. Um, you a fishing man, Mr. Wake? Get me off the water this time of year. Closest thing to heaven. I'll take your word for it, Doc. Hmm. So. I believe you'll find the sheriff in her uh, office. Uh, yeah, no problem. Looking around for collectibles, and was trying to check the map, but you clearly don't want me in here while you're doing whatever you're doing. Oh, proper lifting method. Yes. Okay, we got... Have you seen this man? Disappeared on June 20th, 07. Identi identifying features. Knack for winning contests. What? How's, how's, that an, how's that an identifying feature? Missing. Richard Berg. 
Bog? Bog. Bruce Stansky, Jacob Miller, on a camping trip overdue, haven't been in contact. If you have seen them or know their whereabouts, please call 555-9932. Thank you. Uh, that's her office. Probably don't want to go in there just yet. Okay, I got a fuse box. Uh, what? Read? Oh, the read. Damn, that's a very far interaction point. Uh, bathroom? Nope. Mr. Wake? The sheriff is waiting for you in her office down the corridor? Collectibles. Sorry. That was Cynthia Weaver. I guess you can call her the town eccentric. She used to be the editor of the local newspaper, but she's focused on, um, well, other things these days. Wait, what are you referring right to? In where I come from. Oh, I guess I accidentally missed somebody. She's obsessed with maintaining the light bulbs of the whole town, refuses to step on shadows, things like that. Back in her day, she wrote about all sorts of weird things in the paper. Bright Falls has a colorful history. Of course, what small town hasn't? Uh, this has such an eerie vibe. Page. Alice looked through the viewfinder, lining up the shot. Calder Lake was breathtaking. Something caught her eye. A figure standing in the shadows behind the cabin, like a thin woman in a black dress. She lowered the camera and looked again. No one there. Just a collection of bushes that looked vaguely human-shaped. She shook her head and laughed. Alice would not be a very good... Wait, did I get all the pages in Nightmare? Okay, I did. Cool. I just can't get the ones that are only available on Nightmare mode. <sighs> the sheriff wants to see you in her office, Mr. Wick. Yeah, yeah. I had to get collectibles first. Come in, Mr. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. The battery is dead. It's charged now. Have you started looking for my wife yet? Oh, uh, okay, I was like, Can you tell me what oh. happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? Yes. How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Excuse me. I need to take this. Hello? Alice? Stop talking to the boss. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife. Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're gonna meet me in Elderwood National Park. Mr. There's a spot Wake, called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. For watching you. I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out there. Hey, mister! Hey, can you turn the light? So wait, you beat a guy up, then you got drunk. I mean, I guess it's a way to celebrate your victories. So... So the darkness attacks other people. 
indiscriminately. Maybe? In spite of its human mask, to describe the Dark Presence as intelligent would have implied human qualities on something decidedly inhuman. Nonetheless, it found the one spot in the diner that was dark enough. Some light spilled into the corridor, ravaging it. But it took the pain. Horrible as it was, the writer would soon fix that. He would be coming to the one place where it still had power. The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. Yeah, but collectibles, bro. Yeah, I literally had to reorient myself there. Broken windows, even a report. Oh, okay, I can park. Deputy Mulligan and Thornton had to deal with two intoxicated young men who were celebrating the completion of their deer fest float. Now, folks, we get this every year. I know it's exciting, but exciting is a big day is almost here, but let's save it for the party and leave the gunplay for the shooting competition. No point in getting all worked up yet. Going to that door. Okay. The caller had told me to find a hole in the fence behind the police station. There was something for me in an abandoned car. Oh my god, okay. Uh that was indeed a kick. Man just straight up ripped it apart. Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week. You and Alice. Oh, I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Ow! What the hell is going on? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. Oh, okay. So we're not... Can't... Okay, I feel like telling her that our wife has been kidnapped isn't going to exactly work out. Dr. Mitchell, I assume. They are not accountable for their actions, of course. I can assure you that my staff has Nope, I didn't expect Are you feeling any better, Mr. Going to there would I'd like trigger. To Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. Oh, Hartman, like not Mitchell. Where am I getting Mitchell Lake from? Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. 
My clinic is a place where... Oh, hey, oh my! Take it easy. Hey, nobody move! Get your hands off of my client! Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. Get me out of here. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were going to lock you up. I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money, and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him! I rose. Oh, wow, I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He was on the balcony, looking at the map. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later! Who's Max? What an airhead. Mr. takes a swing at everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. Huh. I had no idea that Remy Entertainment worked on Max Payne. I just found that out while I was looking up Perry's voice actor. The skeleton of the Colombian mammoth. 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 Uh, Mammothus Columbia. Columbia? This specimen, estimated to be 14,000 years old, was recovered from the La Brea Tar Pits in 1981. It was donated to the Elderworld National Park in 1998, when the Columbian Mammoth became Washington State Fossil. We have state fossils? Named Bucktooth Charlie, it has since become the park's official mascot. Timeline of evolution? What? No. Oh, hey, tiger. Seriously, Al, what you were saying in the car? Just listen to yourself. What, you shot a guy and his body just disappeared? When was the last time you slept? What, are you high? First aid kit? Can't use it? Have you been drinking? No. no. Look, Barry, I'm missing a week. And someone's got Alice. Do you and everything's just what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong. It's a good story. Could be a bestseller. All right. Wait here. You're an asshole. Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Yeah, sure. Okay, sure. How the heck what happened? Yeah. Crazy poachers. Max here got his foot caught in a trap. Oh. They're illegal to use here. Hell, you're not supposed to hunt within the park at all. But that doesn't stop some low lowlifes. <sighs> Hell, at least Max is gonna be okay. He got lucky. Is that smoke or fog? Max is still groggy from the shot I gave him, and I'd rather not leave him alone just yet. The form's on the desk. Seriously, the Al, you can't just go and meet a situations always end up in disaster. Bruh, watch me. You gotta talk to the cops. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? It was already written, no. dude. This whole thing As it was written, so it shall be. Your head. You're really gonna continue to just keep trying to talk me out of this, aren't you? You're trying to pull a joke on me. Freak me out? It's working. Ha ha, let's have a laugh on Matt. Wait here. Oh, you had me going there real funny, Al. You can quit it now. 
Why would the man joke about his wife being kidnapped? Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Thanks, bro. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Pew? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the path, and you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. Alright, thanks. Appreciate it. Take care of Max. Alright, Barry. Let's go. Get in the car, Barry. Ah. We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry. They'll kill her. <laughs> this is not a goddamn debate, Barry. <laughs> I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help, and I'll do it. You stay here, and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. Action! <laughs> Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist, or it'll be deliverance all over again. You watch way too many cowboy movies. This is more of a Twin Peaks scenario, bro. Uh, thermos. Oh, batteries. Yes, because all my batteries are gone. Okay, so when they mean that it's episodic like that you're getting pushed back to scratch okay so it's straight up like an old school oh oh wow that is not the best light okay not going that way out the front door collectibles it's been a while since I've Play a game that will just straight up put your ammo counts back to whatever they should be rather than letting you stockpile. So I guess ammo will probably be plentiful enough. Nothing else around here, no shinies aside from that thermos. Hope Samara doesn't come get Barry. All right, yeah, guess, right, I have a sprint button. Nearly forgot about that. Lock in the door now. Uh, script page. Check if anything's in here, no gun, no nothing. Something had happened to Alice, and here was Al armed with a gun and saying things people got put in padded cells for. It was as if his friend had experienced a massive psychotic episode and was now totally disconnected from reality. It scared the shit out of Barry. Oh, I do saw my gun. Okay, cool. I knew I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done. But I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them. And they had Alice. The atmosphere is honestly pretty fucking good. The constant monologuing is also an interesting choice. Oh, radio show? Show, folks, as promised, our very own Dr. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, that takes a different kind of concentration. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's my kind of exercise. 
I don't know if that was a scripted moment or what, but that genuinely made my heart sink a bit. Because that's way too specific of an event to happen, like an entity walking from left to right across the thing, and he's not still out there, is he? Excuse me. Because they can fucking put the hurt on you. Just, they're not going to go around the back of the house. Okay, we got light over there, so that's the way we're supposed to go. Also found out that those canned pyramids are collectibles, evidently. What? 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 Uh, I think it just blew out the light in that cabin up there. I don't, I don't like that. Th there was a light. I don't see it anymore. Try to put myself in a, the best way I think you watch the screen. I hate my headphones sometimes. Okay, we, we good? Okay, we good. We out. Fuck this. We gone. I, I'm not getting my shit kicked in by Mirror Week. Uh, bye. Did not at all like that. Um, we going up or we going down? Uh, okay, those birds are non-hostile. Manuscript page. All right, I'm guessing that's gonna be the right way. The Rusty dying. Was heavy with an what? Smell. 
No, come on. Just the way it was on that page. On that page. Uh, no. Could could we not kill the kind sheriff or park ranger who was just trying to take care of a dog? Could we not? I'd appreciate it if we just not. But we're gonna, aren't we? Rose and Rusty. Rose knew that Rusty was in love with her, and she liked him too. She liked him a lot. He taught her to dance. And life had certainly taught her the value of a man who was gentle. He treated her well, made her smile, made her feel good. But Rusty wasn't the prince of her dreams, and that tended to underline the unbearable truth. She was no closer to that Hollywood magic than he was. Uh, that kind of sucks. <sighs> Anything on the prep? precipice over the edge? No. And we're probably not going to survive that jump if we do roll down. Alright. Fallen rock zone. Oh, great. Of course. The visitor center. The vision left me weak. This was no head injury. Oh, Jesus. Fuck. Rusty, hang on. They're coming. Please, help me. I know I should go check on him immediately, but I have no idea if it will activate a cut. An event that stops me from grabbing stuff. So, we're just gonna... Look around, grab some things. Manuscript. Oh, the cool. The center was sturdy, but the impact turned the front of the building into splinters. Rusty was thrown across the lobby like a rag doll and hit the far wall hard. It didn't hurt until he tried to move and saw his leg bend the wrong way. Felt the broken ribs stabbing him on the inside. Rusty howled in pain and fear, suddenly afraid to die alone. Ugh. Yeah. Well, I mean, he'll stay alive technically until he. His office was locked. I'd need a key to get in. Jesus, this thing does not play the fuck around. What happened? Hello. Okay, the man is still here. I'm back here. Hey. Holy shit, man! Rusty had found a page from the manuscript. It would help me understand what had happened. Wait, the page is in there, or is the page somewhere else? You bring up a page, Alan. You make me have to check things. Okay, we ain't going outside. Ugh. The only way to make sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. Question is, will he actually stay safe or... Oh, you, you can't mantle up on that, bro? Come on. You're a writer, man. You gotta do something in between sitting down at the freaking... Desk. Oh. Gotta have some of body strength at that point. Uh, Wake creatures to save you in the light. I and threw myself down. The axe splintered the trunk of a tree. I stumbled into the pool of bright light. My lungs burned. I was too exhausted to move. I tensed as I waited for the killing blow, but it never came. I raised my head. 
Nothing moved through the darkness beyond. For the moment, bathed in the cold light, I was safe. Just a hint if you haven't already done any game that Lamps, well, street lights and that will in fact protect you. I was too late. Yeah, lightning comes Someone back on. had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no way to get the lights back on. Oh fuck. Jesus Christ still. Oh. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah, hunters need hunting licenses. That's correct. Where's yours? Because I heard a dog whimper. Oh, gee, what the fuck hit me? Oh, fuck you, little bit of shit eating darkness. I can't tell if he got hit by that or if getting too close to the electricity caused light. I feel as though the 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 head moved. Nothing in there. Rusty's gone. No. Something had torn a mammoth-sized hole in the wall. Yeah, fun choice of words. Not really wake. Please don't feed the animals. Rusty. No, no, Rusty. Come on, man. Headshot's a thing? Okay, headshot's are a thing. I don't know if that did more damage, but it felt like it did. Give me all my ammo, please. Okay. Oh, hi. Uh, didn't expect you guys. Cans out here? Nope. Okay. Everything's dead. Nothing's moving. Gotta now keep an eye on the fucking ground on top of everything else. As uh, the darkness just fucking tears up this town. Jesus. Okay. Door just opens. Drop ahead. Checkpoint reached. Also, a convenient place to get our health back if we need to. What? What the hell was that? I saw it from the window. I saw it. I saw something. Forget about it, Barry. It's just me going crazy. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You're not crazy. I wish you were crazy, but you're not crazy. Ow, be careful. Stay in the cabin. Don't open the door for anyone. I mean it. Uh, probably should have told him to turn on every bit of light that he possibly can. But, I mean, I guess, I guess not. What are friends for, right, man? In that last instant of consciousness, Rusty thought about Rose. He was older than she was. Rose was barely out of her teens. But she made him feel young and forget what a train wreck his long dead marriage had been. Oh. He still wore the ring. He'd been waiting for her to tell him Long dead marriages in, like they broke up, or this was an affair type scenario. Another checkpoint. Jeez, that's pretty generous with the checkpoints, don't you think, game? Uh, give me my flare gun. No flare gun. 
is so boring. here no signs of that yellow luminescent paint so nothing to collect there jeez game just throwing out checkpoints you're making me worry end of the nature trail okay this is towards something in it. Site of frequent bootleggers. Activity throughout the Prohibition era of 1919 to 1933. Okay, I'm still in like, the light that I just hear. Nice. Free shotgun. I just heard somebody breathing. Why did I hear somebody breathing? Unless that was Wake's own breathing. Let's flare gun in, flare gun ammo. Oh. Maybe that's what I heard. Oh. Hey, there was more to this. It was mostly used for temporary storage of alcohol smuggled from Canada, but at times alcohol was also distilled on the premise. Okay. Wait, the light, the paint's now sticking? Huh. It didn't do that before. I don't like that I can hear somebody breathing. But we got a free shotgun from that secret. Only two rounds though, so we're gonna have to use it sparingly until we find more ammo. Okay. Definitely coming up towards something that the game wants me to kill or. Okay. Uh, I think this is technically a random encounter. Hi! Fuck you, bro. Shit, battery. Fuck. Yo, what? Oh, Jesus. These batteries do not fill up your entire thing. Uh, that's unfortunate. I thought that the batteries were just a straight up recharge. Okay. Anything in here? Nope. Okay, keep moving. I really don't know how to feel about random encounters in a thing. Maybe it's there just to deter you from A, going off the beaten path. By the same exact time, you have a game with secrets. So going off the beaten path is encouraged at the same time as being punished? Nobody in Bright Falls seemed to know where Al was, but Rose, the waitress at the diner, had seen him. From what Barry could tell, Al pretty much fell off the face of the earth when he left the diner. Rose was just the kind of fan that Al hated, but she really tried to help. She was smart, too. Knew a lot about what was going on in the town. Knew a lot about Al. Even knew who Barry was. Barry liked her. That was no big surprise. When it came to women, Barry and Al rarely saw eye to eye. Easy game.
felled by lightning? Oh, Jesus, why are you so strong, buddy? Yeah, don't appreciate that. It took a full clip of freaking ammo to take your ass out. Come on, you fucker. Oh! Fucking hell! Yeah, let's not say we did. Anything back around here? No, okay. Oh, uh, hi! Why did y'all just spawn? What? Bro, I'm behind a tree. How'd your... Your axe shouldn't be working like a boomerang, bro. I'm definitely gonna have to be less frugal with batteries, that's for sure. Gonna have to probably be more frugal with bullets, though. This game is not giving them out right now. Checkpoint. Well, okay. Nope. We moving. Get to like. Oh fuck. Oh fuck you, game. Ran to the light for a fucking reason. Battery recharge. Ammo. There's a manuscript page over there. Ah, ammo box. Right, I have a couple flares, but... Gonna have to keep that in mind when they're bunched up. I turned the corner, afraid of what the flashlight's beam might reveal. Suddenly, a roughly painted symbol of a torch glowed in the light. Behind it, hidden by a rock, sat a battered metal trunk. It was here for a reason. Packed with supplies. Batteries, flares, ammo. Things you need to make it through the darkness of the night. Something left behind by someone who knew what I knew. And more. You know, I'm not trying to say anything, bro, but we should probably grab one of these axes. Probably come in handy. Just saying, bro. Does that mean that there's... The taking our... Okay. But where's the actual cash, bro? Don't just leave a message like that. Bear alert? No. Please no bear. Come on, there's got to be something around here that... Uh, okay. Well, I didn't expect to activate their trigger that quickly. I need y'all to bunch up, please. Gotcha! Ow, ow! Now get the fuck off. Why are you still filled with darkness, bro? Yo, fucker. Jesus! Get back to the light. Fuck this. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Oh, my. Yep, that wasn't happening. You can't really seem to run. Also, I wonder if Twitch's chat is broken again, because that happened last stream. Yeah, but why leave the manuscript page that has that bit of advice?
and then yellow painting. <sighs> Just go forward this time, that way then they'll bunch up more towards the center. There's light at the end of that corridor. Okay, that took care of some. Oh, Jesus, fuck, man. Oh, my fucking God. Can y'all back off for like two seconds? Let me breathe. Okay. Science around Black Falls. <laughs> Tell you about local history and culture. Uh, yeah, that, that'd be nice if I wasn't getting my ass kicked in by an axe murderer. Motherfucker wielding a knife who runs like a goddamn ninja. And just everything else that's happening. You know, you'd think the flare gun would be the best option here. But no. Okay, that worked. Jesus, it only took three tries to get the conditions completely and totally perfect. I had to whittle down the dark. Oh, fuck you! So, wherever you aim the torch is where the bullet will actually head to. Sound this way, or is, oh, this is the way that it came from. Okay, still no sign of that roughly sketched torch, Alan. Just saying, bro. Your safety, you stay on the designated trail. Maybe it's up there on the overpass. If I can even get up there. Oh, that's not an overpass. That's a tree that they hold out. Okay, lowers peak. What is over here? Oh, well, we're not going this way. Darkness really doesn't want us getting there. Alright. Dates from the... Or the... Oregon Trail. The tree this ring was cut from started growing in 1846, the year the Oregon tree was signed. Other notable events marked on the rings. 1853, the Washington Territory was formed. 1878, the founding of Bright Falls Mining Co. and the town itself. 1889, Washington was granted statehood. 1929, tree damaged in a forest fire. 1970, the Bright Falls Mining Co. closes doors after a volcanic eruption below Cauldron Lake. Mount St. Hell's erupts in 1980. And 1987 tree fell by storm. And that's the Great Old One, I think they called it. But who the fuck would ever name a tree the Great Old One? Like, that that's not asking for problems at all. None whatsoever, right? Uh, where the fuck am I going now? Okay, visitor center. <gasps> oh, I can just hop over the fence. Okay. Didn't feel like I could really make it over that, but I guess I can. Alan has a bit of a bad habit of not doing jumps. Agent Nightingale didn't want to be in Bright Falls. His little communities revolted him, and he didn't like the trees or the coffee. He now knew that impossible horrors lurked behind the storefronts and smiles. He desperately wanted to turn the car around and just drive until he passed out. Alan, did you really write in your own agent to come hunt you down? I mean, I guess you have to keep the writing real enough for the darkness to let you use it. 
I don't know. Like, there's obviously something supernatural going on. There's obviously something going on with the writings. Because the manuscripts are way too on point with what they reveal. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> I don't know how much I want to actually test that. Oh, fuck. Uh, please, no. Could we not? Okay. Okay. Okay, darkness. Hi, everybody. Come on, we gotta get moving. More of them coming. Who are you? That flashlight's kid stuff. The flares will keep the bastards away. Hi? Who? You can see them too? Hell, of course I see them. Come on, we gotta move. Why? <laughs> because that's the way the story goes. Yeah, but... Let's move! Follow the kid, I Hamper. lost my gun back there. Oh, I've got a gun. Just keep that light steady on him. It took a moment, but then... I recognized him. He'd been on the ferry when I first arrived here with Alice. He knew my name. We were headed in the direction of Lover's Peak. There was no way this was a coincidence. He was the kidnapper. Come on, Wake. You better keep up. Actually, these types of enemies remind me of the Yami Bito and the Sh Shobito. What are they were called from a uh, shit? Words that are on the tip of my tongue for 500? Uh, Siren. Come on, bro. Just. 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 just, 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 just how is your aim worse than mine, bro? Bro. Y your mind just giving me the gun? I could hit him ten times easier than you could. Give me the gun. Uh, seriously, bro? Yeah, I'm a fucking better aim than you, bro. that shit yeah next time give me the fucking gun bro dumbass just move you can't hit the broad side of a fucking barn fuck you bro yeah how can you see them I'd love to know Yeah, that's right. I need the. Thermos. Yeah! I wish that you could actually just throw them like grenades.
Bro, could you aim better? Just aim better. Dude, you couldn't hit the broadside of the barn. How are you going to threaten me? Oh, fuck. percent better i'm just asking you to give me three not two not four just three. Oh, fuck fuck bro bro how are you letting them on the platform right now Jesus fucking Christ. Bro, I... I mm. This was not well out. You can get a better understanding of the characters and situations you encounter from the manuscript pages you find. More players here. Get ready. We fight them as long as they keep coming. Give me the goddamn gun. They're coming. That's not how uh, they I, I need to grab my freaking... Please, hit somebody. Jesus, man. This is embarrassing. You're ducked out in camo and you can't even hit the broadside of a fucking barn. Okay, so aim, center of mass, and just shoot. Holy fuck, he did it. Times like this one, I wish that I could do melee. I guess I really shouldn't use the flares as often as I've been using them. Maybe that's why. Yeah, when you actually hit your target, maybe. Any other time, though, you're pretty shy. can't hit the ones that are covered in darkness. You know the rules. So do I. Just focus on the assholes that are behind us. Well, that's it on flares. I'm out. Sorry. Oh my god, he can shoot better when I'm not near him. Okay, I dodged. Bro, just fucking put a bullet in somebody. Please, man. You're literally killing me. You could have just give me a flare gun? I should really grab that. Before doing all this bro how'd you aim for me where I was that's terrible all right there's out yo bro did you hit the target that's in front of you real quick This 
Stop aiming for the guy that has no shadows on him. Stop aiming for the guy that has shadows and aim for the one that doesn't. Next time you write in a freaking kidnapper, Wake, I suggest you make him smarter than your average thug. Yeah, fuck you, I'm grabbing this first. Really? I can't fit through that gap? Oh, fuck, really? Shit. Hit the guy that's not covered in darkness, please. The guys that are behind us, dude. Okay, it can't just be me. Like, is this AI just not good? Okay, game, you gonna give me control or what? Thank you. I feel like I'm possibly screwing things up by trying to go and grab that thermos. Maybe it's because I'm uncovering too many targets for him, but he already aims for them regardless, so it doesn't seem to quite matter. Please just fucking hit him. Oh my god. I feel like the game's trying to teach me to just... I don't like how these guys can just muster through it. Hit these two first, buddy? Because, you know, you should always aim for the target that's closest to you. And more of a threat. Oh, jeez. 
Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, shut the fuck up. That was annoying as fuck. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? I knew you were going to say that. I read it all before. You're a hell of a writer. Congratulations. You're going to bring about something glorious and terrible once we get you some uh, proper editorial control. What the hell are you talking about? Where's Alice? I want the entire manuscript, or she's gonna suffer bad. You touch her all. <laughs> that was not a smart move. I'm just saying. You can slug a regular dude, but a guy wrapped in darkness, no can do, right? Clearly does. All right, got some flare gun, a bit more pistol ammo. Nothing else down here. Nope. That was easily the most annoying part in a game that I have ever done, and it wasn't even a turret section. Letting an AI companion do the fighting for you. Yikes. On more than one occasion, Alice had tried to explain to me how it felt to be afraid of the dark. To her, darkness wasn't simply the absence of light, but something more tangible than that. It was something you could touch and feel. Worse than that, it was something with a mind of its own, something malicious and malign. For her, things changed when they were wrapped in darkness. They turned into something else. Something foreign, and nothing was safe or innocent anymore. I'd never really understood what she meant until now. Wait, what was it saying? My objective was oh, just the man escape. Now I have to head back to Barry. Excuse me. Woo! I hate having hiccups. Oh, Jesus. Fuck. Oh, it's a fucking bear trap. Really? I see shiny. I associate that with good, not bad game. How dare you prey on my... Naivete as a gamer. Oh, right, I've got. So now I have to look out for shiny objects on the floor that aren't good? This is cursed. Oh. Game just completely and totally fucked me on that notion. Like, shiny? Shiny bad. <laughs> Fuck you. There's gotta be a manuscript or something out here, right? What is the point of having all this back area open? Nothing? Eh. Hmm. No, nope, I guess not. Bit disappointing there. Keep the flashlight low under the ground, I guess. I guess technically they foreshadowed this like 
three different times. Oh my fucking god. Wonder if I can get those assholes stuck in their own traps. Probably not. Jesus, game! Okay, good Chinese. I have to shoot at these. There we go. I was hoping that I could just knock it over. Uh, I guess I'm going that way. I thought I saw something move out of like the corner of the screen. That's never a good sign. That's an even worse sign. Weird shadow people mumblings. Okay, combat's definitely not over yet. Okay! Hi, buddy. Should be good now. We okay? Everything's everything's fine. Go. What the hell? Back the fuck up, bro. Oh shit, that's my alarm. Oh god. I'm sitting there like, what is that noise? What is that noise? Come on, get it started. Fuck. Pop the flare. Suck it. Actually stop them. Okay, got a shotgun again. Oh no, hunting rifle. Okay. The night had been one desperate situation after another. I was exhausted, and my body felt as though it had been chewed up and spat out. The flashlight was heavy in my hand, and each pull of the trigger sent a painful shock up my arm. But I was finally out of the woods, and things were looking up. That's when I heard the chainsaw. Just that, that's when I heard the chainsaw. I can hear other footsteps and I don't like it. Yo, that's creepy. Is there actually an enemy out there or... I don't, I don't appreciate that I can... Clearly heard footsteps. Clearly saw the enemy. And then he was gone. Okay, we're actually safe now. Just make sure that there's no extra little stash where I can grab some things. Doesn't appear to be anything up here. No. Okay, I guess we're gonna go hear that rev of the chainsaw. I had heard the blade fall. It made no sense. It was clear that it had just fallen here, but it was very old and obviously hadn't flown in decades. I heard the plane Looking fall. At it sent a shiver down my spine. Heard what plane fall? Where do you see a plane, Wake? 
Oh my god. Back off. Everybody, get to your corners. Chill. Come on, fuck. Let's get it started. There. Okay. That'll give me a bit of leeway. I can't tell if I just gotta kill them or where I'm headed. This way. Okay, well that's Thermos. There's the cabin. Okay, this way. Okay, that's not a cabin, that's... Watermill. Fuck. Sorry if it seems like I'm now rushing at this point, just because I want to at least get to the end of an episode each stream. Please, no, 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 no. Ow. That hurt a lot more than... I really wanted it to. Fucking hell. Game really just wants me dead at this point. Fuck! I really just gotta walk like an old man and keep my eyes on the ground. Can't tell if there's... Is there anything... Somebody's gonna have <laughs> that just last gasp. Okay, so there's gotta be a way to not take damage when falling down from this, right? I think I just had to like drop on to that. Yeah, okay. Then fall down. And I'll just keep my eyes on the fucking ground at every conceivable moment to burn away darkness. You know, if only darkness was this easy to deal with in the Kingdom Hearts series. Just trying to flashlight it shit. Xehanort evil and consume with darkness? Nah, just trying to flashlight out of his face. Alright, let's try and do this third person platforming. Oh my god, just give me the fucking manuscript page. I don't like that this feels like the right way to go. When Barry saw the darkness attack the visitor center, it made him a believer. 
The men Al said he'd shot, they hadn't been just locals on crank. Somehow the world had changed, like the channel had been switched without warning. You think you're watching a sitcom, and you're really watching a horror show. When the birds started attacking the cabin, Barry wasn't surprised, just terrified. So birds are going to attack the cabin, cabin's going to get attacked. Great, wonderful time. Oh, oh, thermos. Uh, any darkness on the floor? Nope. Good. About time the game stopped trying to kill me for a bit. Okay, so I can't climb up. But I want to see what's back here real quick. Oh god, please just, just let me down. Oh, hey, okay. another manuscript page. Nothing else? I might be missing one, maybe. The site was a mess. The modular office had been pushed off the cliff. Deputy Thornton climbed up from the wreckage, excited, breathing hard from the exertion. Nobody there. It's weird. Don't you think that's weird? Bored, Mulligan let out a mighty snort. Hell, it's always weird, Thornton. Just a question of sorting out what kind of weird it is this time around. I feel like Wake's trying slowly to make other people aware of the situation. That way then they can maybe be of assistance. It's bizarre. It's hard to tell what's going on with the manuscript stuff. Because obviously the manuscript stuff is pointing in certain directions towards things. As is almost being a story that wake is trying to write himself out of or into i guess be the more proper way of thinking it i don't know hard to explain still have not heard that chance all the darkness bears her face be aware of widow makers Oh, Jesus. You got a beefy bit of super armor there, bro. Don't back away now. What's inside of here? No darkness on the floor? More hunting rifle? I haven't even used the, I guess, long rifle gun. Uh, long guns. I was trying to think of the word and I couldn't for a second there. Maybe I should try and use it a bit. It holds. Oh, come on. Platforming is something that was not designed probably with platforming in mind. It's going on 441. Running low on time and curiosity is still a thing that I have a problem with. Not that I'm trying 100%, but I like just finding things. And the manuscripts are tied into the story. Oh, fuck you. There's somebody else. Oh, yep. There's somebody off to the left of me, I think. Just two big ones. Yeah, no. That got rid of one of you. Okay, two shots with that versus four shots with my revolver. Definitely a lot better on the whole entire bullet economy. Got one more round of this. Let's reload the flare gun so we have it. We have no more pocket flares. We're at our limit with reach. Well, with yeah, words can't do. We're at our limit with revolver. Occupation. Hi. 
Uh... Oh, you can't actually burn the darkness in, against that guy. Unless you're using the freaking focused fire. I need both of you quick fuckers to get out of my way. Use it. That didn't kill him. That sure as hell did, though. For as much as you built that up, game, it wasn't that difficult once I used the flare on him. Does that mean that fucking guys with chainsaws are just gonna become a common enemy? I really don't want to deal with Dr. Salvador again. Load everything. Peer out in the darkness a little bit. Let's see if we can't find anything. Doesn't look like it. <sighs> Call from somebody. Barry? Ow! The porch is covered with birds. They've got all Hitchcock on me. Stay out of sight. I'm on my way. Don't open the door. What am I crazy? Stay hidden. I'll be there soon. Just make sure you keep the lights on. I still had to reach Barry at the cabin, but at least I was out of the woods. No. Oh, I think the light of the freaking car actually just saved my ass there. Check the bathrooms. I need to get fire or something. command froze me in place. I considered surrender. It was all falling apart anyway. I could give in, let someone else deal with it. <clears throat> but it felt all wrong. Cold instinct. His posture. The way he held the gun. He was no friend. Shots ringing in my ears. I leaped for the hole in the fence and stumbled into the darkness beyond. Oh, Jesus Christ. It was really fucking dark in here. Nothing else? Nope. Oh, hunting rifle ammo. Hell yeah. That should save me on more than one occasion. Oh, hey, garage keys. A story is not a machine that does what you tell it. A story is a beast with a life of its own. You can create it, shape it, but as the story grows, it starts wanting things of its own. Change one thing and you set off a chain reaction of events that spreads through the whole thing. The characters have to be true to themselves. The events need to follow a logic that fits the story. A single flaw and the magic is gone. The story dies. Alice dies. Fuck you. Crash, get to the fucking car. Fuck out of here. Out of the fucking way. Sorry. Excuse me. Uh, no collectibles. That's another vehicle. Yeah, sure. I'll break in reverse. Uh, that way? Wait, what's on the road then? Okay, road's blocked off. It's not entirely blocked off. Nope. Sorry. He's back off. Oh, God. Excuse me, pardon me. 
Don't mind me, just gonna grab my coffee thermos and get the fuck out of here. Wait, is it letting me go back to like places I've already been? Or is this leading back up to the cabin? Cause like there are a lot of lights right now. And Okay, this is the lodge. Okay, so I guess I should just stick to the car. Let's just get up to fucking Barry. Oh, fuck. Nope. Get to light. Get to light. Get to light. Does that not count as light? Nope. I guess not. It was the kidnapper. You son of a bitch! Where's my wife? Enough horseplay, Wake! You deliver the manuscript, and you can have your woman back. Simple as that. I don't... Listen. Listen. I'm gonna need time to finish it. I still need to write the ending. I need a week. Not done? I need a week. Two days. The old Bright Falls coal mine is nearby. You can find it easy, city boy. The main building, there at noon. You bring the manuscript, you'll get your wife. Not, well, get me. Yes, yes, I, I get you. Okay, this is the place where I saw that dude outside of the window. Alright. Seem to be safe now. Except for the fact of the Hitchcockian birds. Oh. Barry had talked about birds over the phone. Air gun ammo, I will take all of that. Yeah, uh, Barry, you mind opening the fucking door? Can't tell what. Okay, those ones are actual enemies. Back, foul beast. You know what? Maybe this will work better. Yeah. Okay, anytime you want to move the stuff out of the way, Barry, so I can get inside and we can just wait this out till morning. Be incredible, bro. I know you're not Jill, you're not the master of unlocking, but maybe you could be the master of unblocking? Maybe? Possibly? 
Oh, Jesus, fuck. Oh no, okay, so literally I can't do shit with my gun right now. I can only do shit with my flashlight. Yeah. Jerry? You can open the door now. They're gone. Took you that long to fucking open the door, man? Barry, unlock the fucking door. Hey, Told you to leave the lights on, Barry. You were having a psychotic episode, man. Yeah, you're a dick. You're an asshole. I sent Barry to the town to ask around about a man fitting the kidnapper's description. He'd go through the archives of the local paper. Perhaps he could learn something. Anything about <sighs> the island and the cabin that had disappeared. The man wanted a manuscript. I had to try to write him one to get Alice back. Mm. Supernatural had always been nothing but a metaphor for the human psyche, a tool to use in writing fiction. Now, it was happening for real, and I couldn't put a single word on paper. Barry Wheeler speaking. This is Rose. Rose? I found Mr. Wake's pages. Oh, you sweet, brilliant girl. Could you and Mr. Wake come get them? We'll be there in less than an hour. Barry, you can you not tell when someone's... Have a great day. You're a dumbass, bro. Welcome, Welcome to, to the Island of Arizona. Good girl. Ugh, really? Well, that was it for episode two of Alan Wake. That entire escort situation of trying to keep myself safe while the AI fucked everything was painful. But for right now, we're going to head off and right out to Rib Cyrano. Chill dude, he's playing some Yielding in Chronicle Rising, a little Metroidvania esque game to coincide with the later release of Elduin Chronicle, a Sweet Dude Spiritual successor. Hope y'all enjoyed this episode of Alan Wake, and I'll catch you tomorrow.